So we've gone over vertical spinning a lot. And what I mean by vertical is we have this wall and we're like spinning across it and we're under it. Boom, 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 you know? But we didn't really learn that part. But I'm just kind of showing you that there's this invisible wall right here that I'm spinning across this whole time. Chucks are moving up and down vertically. Um, I haven't really gone over the, the horizontal motion too much. Horizontal motion would be more like, like this. That motion. Across. Across your body. Now the advantages of going across your body is, let's say I have two cameras or audience that's all the way around me, if I'm performing for these people, or if my audience is there, or if I have two cameras, and I'm spinning in this motion here, well, it's going to look great in front of that camera over there. But what about that camera here? It doesn't look so good anymore. Boom. I mean, it's all right. It, you can still see it. But it doesn't look the same as if I was standing in front of here. But if I'm using horizontal movements, well, both, both of them can still catch it a little bit better. Both sides. Even though I was facing that direction and performing for that side, whew, <laughs> that side still gets a little bit sorry. It's a little intense here. So we're going to be doing this move here, over the shoulder passes, like so. Boom, 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 boom. Touch up, touch up, touch up. And this time, um, instead of passing it down, you know how we would go straight to the clutch? Well, we're not going to go to the clutch this time. We're going to slash down, and we're going to cross our body this direction. Boom! So if I'm using my right hand, which I tend to teach a lot using the right hand, you can use your left too. Right hand slashes across to the left side of your hip, like that. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to touch it to my hip, so this thing just kind of needlessly bounces on the, against my back. It's not going to hurt at all. As long as I don't hit myself with this part. See, the most dangerous part of the chuck is right here. If you play with these insides, you're not going to hurt yourself. Like that. So as long as you remember, this is your safety zone. Keep all of your... This is called a bounce. A bounce is like this. A bounce is any time it bounces off the body. It's called a bounce. It's bouncing off my body every second of the moment. Just bounce, bounce, bounce. If I'm hitting it at the very end, especially with fire chucks or wood chucks, you are going to bruise yourself and hurt yourself really quick, possibly break bones, knock yourself out, and possibly be dead. So, <laughs> I'm kind of exaggerating, but just know that you want to make sure that you're using this part, okay? So we're going up, 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 bounce. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to roll it all the way across and we're going to bounce it 360 degrees. This is so you can get used to this bounce. Your hand is going to swing all the way across and bounce over and it's going to bounce off your stomach this direction. You'll notice the chain actually wraps around your stomach. So, like this. Bounce. Bounce. The last part of it is we're going to rip it past so we're back to the same side. And we're going to make an X. The first part of the X slashes up like this. It's going to go around our neck. And the second part is going to slash down. And this is going to be the most fierce part of it. It's like that. And the slash. Now, you don't want to do it that fast when you're first working it, but you will eventually. And I'll tell you why in a second. It's going to slash across. And again, we're going to touch this to our hip. This is where it began. As long as the chain hits our hip, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt us. Make sure you have nothing in front of you, especially people. Because that's a knockout blow. <laughs> so, up, 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 up. Here we go. One. Cross the bodies. Two. Three. Four. Again. Up, 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 up. One. Cross the bodies. Two. Three. Four. Okay? One, cross the bodies, two. I'm going the opposite direction, by the way. Three, four. Now, this is um, awesome if you're using a fire chuck, because if you only have one side that's lit, 
This is usually how I put my chuck out. I think it's just a great way. So I'm spinning my chucks and, uh, oh god, only one side's lit. So I'm gonna hand roll to get that side over here. You know, because hand roll reverses which stick you're grabbing. And then I might go here, here, over, and slash! It's done! See ya! Now, we're gonna add one more element to this movement. We're doing our over the shoulders, and one. Two. This time when we go over the head, we're going to spin with it. So, three is going to look like this. It's going to move up, and our hand can even match it, but we're going to spin 360 degrees, and then we're going to slash it. Again. One. Two. This time, as three comes up, we're actually going to pull it over our head like this. We can use our hand. We don't have to use our hand. I tend to use my hand. Three will look like this. Four will slash it out. Okay? We're going to get into movement a lot more in the future videos. Movement is so important with nunchucks. These are such a small, like, prop. If you don't move, let me give you an example, okay? I'm going to show you what happens if you don't, like, put very much focus on movement. You can get a freestyle that looks like this. Not bad, right? Hmm. Or, you can move with it, bam! And just that extra motion. I mean, even if I'm just doing wrist rolls, just that extra motion, clutch, bam! Gives it energy and fierceness and dynamics and we can slow it down. And then we can speed it back up again. And then we can slow it down. And speed it back up, you know? That's what we want, like, we want it to be alive. 